This video gives formulas for sine of 2 theta and cosine of 2 theta. Please pause the video for a moment and see if you think this equation, sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine theta, is true or false. Remember that true means always true for all values of theta, where false means sometimes or always false. This equation is false because it's not true for all values of theta. One way to see this is graphically. If I graph y equals sine of 2 theta, that's like the graph of sine theta squished in horizontally by a factor of 1 half. On the other hand, if I graph y equals 2 sine theta, that's like the graph of sine theta stretched vertically by a factor of 2. These two graphs are not the same. So instead, we need a more complicated formula for sine of 2 theta. And that formula is sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. It's not hard to see why that formula works based on the angle sum formula. Recall that sine of a plus b is equal to sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. Therefore, sine of 2 theta, which is sine of theta plus theta, is going to be sine theta cosine theta plus cosine theta sine theta, simply plugging in theta for a and theta for b in this angle sum formula. Well, sine theta cosine theta is the same thing as cosine theta sine theta, so I can rewrite this as twice sine theta cosine theta. That gives me this formula. There's also a formula for cosine of 2 theta, and that formula is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Again, we can use the angle sum formula to see where this comes from. Cosine of a plus b is equal to cosine of a cosine of b minus sine a sine b. So if we want cosine of 2 theta, that's just cosine of theta plus theta, which is cosine theta cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta by plugging in theta for a and b. This can be rewritten as cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, which is exactly the formula above. Now there are a couple other formulas for cosine of 2 theta that are also popular. One of them is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, and the other one is cosine of 2 theta is 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. You can get each of these two formulas from the original one using the Pythagorean identity. We know that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1, so cosine squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta. If I plug that into my original formula, which I've copied here, so I'm plugging in, instead of cosine squared, I'm going to write 1 minus sine squared theta. I still have a, another minus sine squared theta. So that's the same thing as 1 minus twice sine squared theta, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Similarly, I can use the Pythagorean identity to write sine squared theta as 1 minus cosine squared theta. Again, I'll take this equation and copy it below, but this time I'm going to plug in for sine squared right here. So that gives me cosine of 2 theta is cosine squared theta minus the quantity 1 minus cosine squared theta. That simplifies to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 after distributing the negative sign and combining like terms. So I have one double angle formula for sine of 2 theta, and I have three versions of the double angle formula for cosine of 2 theta. Now let's use these formulas in some examples. Let's find the cosine of 2 theta if we know that cosine theta is negative 1 over root 10 and theta terminates in quadrant 3. We have a choice of three formulas 
for cosine of 2 theta. I'm going to choose the second one because it only involves cosine of theta on the right side, and I already know my value for cosine theta. Of course, I could use one of the other ones, but then I'd have to work out the value of sine theta. So plugging in, I get cosine of 2 theta is twice negative 1 over root 10 squared minus 1, which simplifies to 2 tenths minus 1, or negative 8 tenths, negative 4 fifths. Finally, let's solve the equation 2 cosine x plus sine of 2x equals 0. What makes this equation tricky is that one of the trig functions has the argument of just x, but the other trig function has the argument of 2x. So I want to use my double angle formula to rewrite sine of 2x. I'll copy down the 2 cosine x, and now sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. At this point, I see a way to factor my equation. I can factor out a 2 cosine x from both of these two terms. That gives me 1 plus sine x, and the product there is equal to 0. That means that either 2 cosine x is equal to 0 or 1 plus sine x is equal to 0. That simplifies to cosine x equals 0 or sine x is negative 1. Using my unit circle, I see that cosine of x is 0 at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, while sine of x is negative 1 at 3 pi over 2. There's some redundancy here, but my solution set is going to be pi over 2 plus multiples of 2 pi and 3 pi over 2 plus multiples of 2 pi. This video proved the double angle formulas sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta and cosine of 2 theta is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. It also proved two alternate versions of the equation for cosine of 2 theta.